Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how to make delicious slow cooker ribs. You know, there's times when you can't get outside and smoke your wrap of baby back ribs. Slow cooker's the answer for delicious fall off the bone ribs. I'm also going to show you how to amp up your favorite barbecue sauce by adding just a few ingredients. This sauce is absolutely wonderful on your racks of ribs and it's real easy to make. Hey, real simple recipe, especially in the slow cooker. Stick around and let's get started. First, you want to take off that membrane on the back of your ribs. It's really chewy. You don't want that. All right, next, cut your rack of ribs in half because we're going to put them in the slow cooker and they have to fit. All right, next, season generously with kosher salt and black pepper and do this on both sides of your ribs. Then add a little mustard as tenderizer. Hey, I promise you won't taste the mustard. Just spread that all around. All right, your sauce. Favorite barbecue sauce to that? Add brown sugar, minced garlic, Worcestershire sauce, and a little salt. Give it a good mix and you have a delicious sauce to spread all over your ribs. Now I use slow cooker liners. It makes clean up and ease. First thing you want to do is add just a tad bit of water in the bottom of your slow cooker. Then add that first half rack. Pour a third of that sauce on there and use a spoon or a brush to spread around that love all over that rack of ribs. Perfect. All right, then set your second half rack in on top of that. Cover it in sauce. Yummy. Look at all that garlic on there. All right. Next thing to do is put a cap on it, cook it for about seven hours on low. If you want the, the meat to stay intact, go seven hours. If you want it absolutely falling off that bone, go about an hour or two longer. <laughs> After that, go ahead and place your ribs on a baking sheet. See how that meat has pushed away from that bone? That's what you want to see. Then add a little bit of the cooking juices to that remaining sauce. Give it a good mix. Spread it on your ribs. Put it under the broiler in your oven for about three minutes till those edges are slightly charred and that sauce is bubbling and caramelized. Perfect. Serve it up and enjoy. Tender, delicious, easy to do, nothing like cooking it in the slow cooker when you can't get outside to smoke your ribs. Hey, the full recipe and directions is in the description box below the video. Click show more and it'll pull it up. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you subscribe for more easy and delicious recipes. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you think about this recipe. But until next time, bye-bye, y'all.